tell you that that is exactly how God works. This is a thousand year old conversation between God and man. And we keep replaying how big it is in our mind. And You're feeling like God called you to do something pretty intimidating. It probably seems big, it probably seems overwhelming, probably seems like you can't do it on your own. Friend, let me tell you that that is exactly how God works. He gives us something big, he gives us something intimidating, but the good thing about that is that we don't have to do it on our own. But let me tell you right now that this is a thousand year old conversation between God and man. God calls man to do something crazy, ridiculous, big, amazing, and man says, um, I don't think I'm qualified to do that, or no thank you, or maybe later or maybe tomorrow or i doubt you're saying that but here's the thing is that god partners with us to do that thing every single time so let's talk about someone who is in a similar position his name was david his story is found in first samuel and he was a shepherd boy he was the youngest of all of his brothers and he loved god deeply he was passionate he was strong and you can read more about him in first samuel 16 and 17. So David, while he was out and about, heard about a giant named Goliath that was going against God and his people. And David kind of took this a little personal. He said, to Saul, let no one lose heart in account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. Many of you know this story. David took a stick and a stone and he slung it at Goliath and killed him. I think one of the first things we can learn from David's story is that we can say yes. The thing might seem scary and intimidating, but God can use it anyways. But here's the thing is that that wasn't David's first time. David had gone against lions, bears, and wolves and had to make his case for the king, Saul, who really doubted his abilities. David knew what it was like to fight smaller battles. And so he was confident enough to fight this big battle. So what are some small things God is calling you to do in order for you to gain confidence that you can walk in the bigger battles to gain bigger victories? Maybe there's this dream job you want to go after. Maybe the first step is just preparing your resume or applying for the job. Maybe you want to ask someone out. Maybe the first step is just messaging them or talking to them, hanging out with them. Maybe your next step is to write that book, but maybe you just feel so intimidated by it. Maybe just take a few minutes and write a few sentences. David wasn't like the other Israelites. He didn't just stand there paralyzed and in fear. He actually did something. But many times we can be just like the Israelites who stood there paralyzed, looking at the big project or that big thing in front of us. Maybe it's the promotion that we just got that seems so overwhelming or the business we just started or the book project that we have in our heart and our mind or starting that nonprofit. And we keep replaying how big it is in our mind and it's intimidating to us and it's stopping us from taking action. But David, he didn't think that much about it. And here's why. It's because he had seen God move in the smaller ways and he knew that God was gonna move in the big ways too. He knew God's character. He knew that God wasn't gonna let him fail. He knew that he was called and he had a purpose and he had a mission to accomplish. In the same way, when we take those little small steps of faith, we gain confidence, we know who God is, and we can walk in that same confidence and identity in him. And so David was able to go to Saul and say, hey, I know that you haven't seen me, but I have fought lions and I have fought bears and God delivered me from their hands. And I know that this is no different. So just like God was also with David, God is also with you. So whatever he calls you to do today, it is possible. So take that step of faith, move with that impulse of faith, do a 30 second move towards courage and go because God, your father, your friend, your savior, he is with you and he can't wait to see you move and what he's calling you to do. I can remember a time when I was on vacation, I went to Hawaii and it was amazing. And there was this rock that is known for as a place where tourists go to jump off of a cliff. And I remember my friend who was with me, she was very confident in going about it. And I didn't really wanna do it, but I felt like I'm in Hawaii seize the day, make it happen. And so I went up with my friend, my friend who wanted to go, she actually went before me and then I stood up there by myself. And I had this moment where I could have just, you know, gone back down by myself and not jumped. But up there on that rock, in that fear, I sensed that God was with me. So I took that impulse of faith. 
And so it might seem that God is leading you towards a cliff and that it is scary and it feels intimidating, but let me tell you that he is with you. And when you take that step and you walk off that cliff, man, is it exhilarating. It is a way to live. It is a way to know that you have life, that you have breath. And it is in those moments we experience God and also we learn more about ourselves and grow more in him. So I want to leave you with this quote from The Circle Maker that was by Mark Batterson. And it says, The greatest moments in life are the miraculous moments when human impotence and divine omnipotence intersect. And they intersect when we draw a circle around the impossible situations in our lives and invite God to intervene. I promise you this. God is ready and waiting. So while I have no idea what circumstances you find yourself in, I'm confident that you are only a prayer away from a dream fulfilled, a promise kept, or a miracle performed. It is absolutely imperative at the outset that you come to terms with the simple yet life-changing truth that God is for you. Next week's video, we're going to talk about comparison and overcoming comparison so that you can do what God is calling you to do. So if that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you soon.